Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly love reading for the week of March 5th, 2022. Sorry, that sounded like I just mumbled all over that. So, starting with the angel answer card. This will answer whatever question you have at the end of the reading. That was weird. Angel answer card for Gemini. That there. No. Don't forget, I do the warm-up reading. I did the warm-up reading on Wednesday and released it on Wednesday also. So that would be your Gemini, Libra, Aries reading. And because it's in my chart, it might apply to you also. Romance Angel card for Gemini. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. <laughs> I love this card. As a Gemini, I can overthink anything. I don't know about you. I can overthink and just put myself in a little tiny box cage and make it look like or think that I can't get out. But guess what? I can. Just like you probably. Okay, so what else does Gemini need? What does Gemini need to know about this taking control of our life? are not saying a word. Here we go. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Could imply juggling. Well, let's clarify that Two of Pentacles because I have two thoughts. Oh, and that one. Oh, there it goes. The lovers, us. We're busy. So <laughs> when it says take back control of your life for yourself, this to me is you have a choice. You have one pentacle tucked under here and you have one up in the air. And this is a lover's card, which is us, which would be us being in our power. And this to me, is it's an auspicious thing. So it, to me, it means that it's not necessarily bad that you're busy, but it does speak to the fact of having control over what you're doing or not doing. Clarify. Clarify. The Four of Cups. You know, this card, it can be, you know, missing out on an opportunity. It could be, um, <laughs> and I hate to say it, but as a Gemini, I do tend to be like a little kid when it comes to things. I'm always afraid I'm going to miss something. So I tend to be very busy, which can be a little difficult because I'm in perpetual motion then. So for me, clarifying the, our card, the lover's card, with the Two of Pentacles. I'm moving the microphone, so hopefully I'm not making any weird noises on the video. I apologize if I am, but you know, it could be fear of missing out. It could be about being bored. So we're gonna get more, but I really think that because of being busy like that is, um, let's go ahead and clarify that Four of Cups. Uh, Ace of Wands. <laughs> Ace of Wands is a passionate offer, and I think we're, we're afraid of missing out on the, the passion. We're afraid of missing out on what we think is, you know, yay, you know, will, will we miss out on an opportunity? Ah. An offer of love. <laughs> so... This is so funny. And I say it's funny because here we are, we're busy. We're supposed to be taking control of things, right? And this is us having control over it. Could we catch it in that net? Yeah, but that's what I think that symbolizes there. Just move the net over and you can catch it. But you're not. And it's like being afraid that you're going to miss out if you stop moving. And this is so funny, but th there's this passion. Th there's a lot of passion. There's 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 a lot of chemistry with someone, and but there's that that fear of taking that next step. <laughs> so, I had a conversation with somebody. I don't. I always say I don't sit well, and I really don't sit well. For me to sit on the couch with someone or just to relax is very difficult. Seven of Swords. Like I was saying, Seven of Swords is partial success. So like I said, it's very difficult to just sit down and be. So I can do it sometimes, but I have a hard time with it. 
this to me is it's almost like just that fear of being anything more and so you just kind of stop it so needing to have the strength to just be and not keep moving at all times i, I liken myself to a ping pong ball at times and so the, the four of cups that fear of missing out but what are you afraid of missing out on What are we afraid of missing out on? We're afraid of missing out on making memories, on doing things. That's what this says to me. I know the Six of Cups is being sentimental, but we're asked, what are we afraid of? We're afraid of missing out on things. And I like the bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. His heart is covered. So to me, it's almost like, well, it's not almost, but it's saying that we're afraid to... Miss out on making memories. Just miss out on being. Like, don't laugh, but it's a beautiful day today where I am. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I always do my videos on this day. And for me, it's, it's difficult because you, you don't want to miss on anything. You don't want to miss out on a beautiful day. And I think that's, that's so, that epitomizes why we have the Four of Cups with the Six of Cups here. It's that fear. But there is a passionate offer but I think it's, it's what this is saying is just we need to have the strength to just sit down and just go with it. Free yourself. Don't say, maybe this is, don't say I have to do my videos on this, this specific day every day. <laughs> or things have to be a specific way. Yeah, things, do, things don't have to be a specific day, way. We have the Ten of Cups. With the Five of Cups, how appropriate for what I've been talking about. You can have it all, but you're not even noticing the cups that are standing, only what's missing. But this to me says is once you stop realizing that, stop focusing on what you don't have and focus on what you do have, you can have the Ten of Cups. You can have the, uh, the great love. That's what this is saying to me because there's a lot of passion here. So let, let's ask, so tell us about the Ace of Wands, the passion, the love offer, the chemistry. Tell us about this, the Empress. So it is someone who is abundant, someone who you may see uh, as a perfect partner or just someone who is successful. And I say that because the Empress, she has the beautiful castle. She has all this... Uh, all her plants are growing. There is just abundance of all sorts. So this person is someone you see as abundant, possibly successful in their work. Anything else you'd like to tell us about this person? Page of Cups. This person could be younger than you, or it could be <laughs> just a love offer. And... It's just a love offer. I, I love his face. It's a love offer. And, and when I'm looking at the face, I think it could be someone who maybe he's offering his cup of love and he doesn't even look like happy or he's not surprised. It just, he just is. So you may be dealing with someone who's like that. They just are. They could have water in their chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they just are. So in the traditional deck, the, the Page of Cups is shocked by the fish being there. What I say, magician. Basically, Gemini, it's up to us. Calm down. Enjoy what you have. Don't focus on the negative. Focus on the positive. And stop feeling like it has to be one specific way because it doesn't. And that's what this is really just keep repeating in my head. So, what's your question, Gemini? Here's your answer. No need to worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> Let's get you a spellcasting oracle deck card, please. For Gemini. Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. What I'm talking about, just, just be. <sighs> Ground. 
and just be. Thank you so much for being here, Gemini. Really appreciate you. You take care and have a great week. Bye.